Imagine being able to do 10 hours of work in only two hours. That's completing one hour of work in 12 minutes. Can you imagine all the stuff you can do with the rest of your time? Not only can you 5x the amount of work you get done in the same amount of time, you are much more than multiplying your results by five. More like 10,000 or even 100,000. First place, best of the best, always gets over 99% of the results. Who's the fastest 100 meter dash sprinter in the world? Usain Bolt, right? Who's the second fastest? Exactly. Respect to the guy, he came in second by a split second, yet it made that big of a difference. This is the power of productivity. Here are the three best productivity tricks that I use to be as productive as possible. Number one, imagine having to eat a live frog every single day. Eat the frog first thing in the morning and the rest of the day is easy breezy. Imagine you had to eat two frogs now. Eat them first thing in the morning and the ugliest one first. The trick is to not look at it for too long because it's not gonna do you much justice. The frog represents tasks you have, specifically the most difficult task you have today. If you have two hard tasks, do the hardest one first and the rest will feel like a breeze. Why first thing in the morning though? This is a deadly trap that most people fall for. It leads them into whirlpools of procrastination. If you go through the day before your hardest task, you'll have to eat the same frog twice. Once when you're eating the frog and again when you're thinking of it. In fact, your suffering is equivalent of eating it hundreds of times. Number two, flow state. It's when you're so deep in the game, so focused, so locked in on the task at hand that nothing else exists. It's as if you've become one with whatever you're doing, whether it's running, lifting, or more. In the flow state, there's no room for self-doubt and no space for excuses. You're in the zone, pushing yourself to the limits and beyond. Time seems to fly and you feel invincible. During procrastination, it feels impossible to start a task. During flow state, it's hard to stop. Flow state is the opposite of procrastination. Here's how to get into a flow state. We often find ourselves in flow states while doing something enjoyable. It's a positive feedback loop. While this could be good like reading a book or doing the dishes, there are bad examples too, like video games. But pressing buttons isn't something that we're naturally interested in. Video games are meticulously designed to activate flow effortlessly. They've got statistics showing the exact challenge level they need and the exact challenge increase they need to trap you in flow. To maximize productivity, you have to practice more and more mindfulness and flow state. Challenge yourself to the right amount, either by leveling up the task or setting yourself a time limit. Talking about time, number three, we often give ourselves too much time to complete a project. Simply put, if you have two weeks to complete a task at hand, it will take you two weeks. If you give yourself five days, it will only take you five days to do the same task. I know it sounds ridiculous and you're probably thinking, how far can we stretch that? For most of us, including me, a lot more. This artificial environment of stress can boost productivity because stress is good for you. If we were totally stress-free, we wouldn't need to change. This is Parkinson's law. Work expands to the time it's given. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it valuable. If you need any more reminders for waking up earlier, feel free to watch the video again or share it to friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for me, don't be afraid to let me know. Please like the video to support and subscribe to join the movement. I'm Aaron and I'll see you in the next one.